Hello again, this is Christian for Life Force Microscopy. Today I'm presenting to you uh, what seems to be abnormal blood and quite a few bacterial pleomorphic forms found in this sample of blood taking from a patient a few minutes ago, maybe four to five minutes ago. Within this yellow circle you can find uh, these pleomorphic forms that look like uh, parasites or snakes. Again, this is not supposed to happen in a sample of fresh just taken blood from a person so what is the meaning of all of this well in my personal and humble opinion for this to happen means that the person has very bad eating habits. This I have confirmed by questioning this person regarding her daily intake of food. One thing that was made clear is that this person, a female patient of 52 years old, eats lots of junk foods such as excess fats, fast foods from uh, different places that I won't be mentioning here, but you know the ones that sell uh, junk food on a regular basis, foods loaded with fats, sugars, and all kinds of uh, negative and bad things for your body. All these uh, little particles that we see are definitely abnormal and they shouldn't be present at all. They look like a little tiny dots sometimes uh, different shapes like uh, interlinked chains, little snake looking things moving around. All of these things observed are pathogenic. Now for those who say that light blood analysis or dark field microscopy has nothing to do with health and it's just a scam to take money from people, let me tell you that you are wrong. Of course you have to have a lot of uh, practical and theoretical experience in order to diagnose correctly the health condition of a person. Of course, you cannot be specific in saying that this person has uh, diabetes or 
cancer or anything like that it is not possible to diagnose specific uh, conditions by just looking at a sample of blood as far as I know diagnosing heart disease is really one of the best things that I've seen while using dark field microscopy because you can actually see if a person has heart disease or will have it. Nowadays blood clots being so popular because of uh, some vaccines that I won't mention uh, the name are very easily identified so we can actually know if the person in question is clotting a lot so we can warn that person to be careful and to change his or her eating habits otherwise clotting too much will get that person in a lot of trouble well this has been just a very brief explanation of what we're seeing when we look at a fresh light blood sample and again everything that we have seen in this video is completely abnormal this should not happen at all in a fresh just taken blood sample I'll try to upload in the future more videos with uh, more explanation so that everything becomes clear over time and each time that I upload a video so if you have any comments uh, requests etc don't hesitate to flick me a message and we'll take it from there thank you very much for your attention and I'll be seeing you on my next video bye